Are you looking for a solid math program for kindergarten through eighth grade that builds independent and creative thinkers in math with great support for the teacher? How about one that teaches concepts sequentially with hands-on learning and still practices previously learned concepts? Or that emphasizes a clear understanding of essential math skills while building strong math sense? I'm Gina, one of the curriculum consultants for Rainbow Resource Center. I would like to introduce you to Math in Focus 2020 by Marshall Cavendish, the newest available edition of Math in Focus. Let's take a look at this math curriculum to see if it could meet your needs. This program is neutral and uses a mastery approach staying on one topic of math at a time and explores it over several days along with related subtopics before moving on to the next concept. It requires medium parent involvement and is meant to be parent-led. It is also multi-sensory using all avenues of learning. There are required manipulatives that are integrated into the lessons. This is a Singapore approach math program. Using the Singapore model, concrete to pictorial to abstract, students move from concrete, which means hands-on materials or acting out math, to pictorial using pictures, drawings, and bar models to work out problems, to finally abstract, understanding symbols to solve problems. With this methodology, instead of moving from one model to another, you may move back and forth between these models. The idea is to get students to envision in their mind the problems they are solving even when they are working out problems abstractly. The pictorial strategy connects the students from a concrete understanding to an abstract understanding of the concept. These visual models used across the grade levels are really the hallmark of the Singapore math approach. Other important strengths are teaching kids to understand the base 10 system and developing a strong mental math aptitude. If you would like more information about this approach, you might take a look at our Singapore approach video, which can be found on our website or YouTube channel. Well, you may be wondering what has changed in this 2020 edition of Math in Focus. The content is very similar to the previous edition with a few updates. This edition is based on a newer Singapore Ministry of Education syllabus and some of the lessons have been combined or changed. Some concepts have been moved to different grades to address challenges students were encountering and to give students more time to master a concept. Another difference is the formatting of the student materials. The student workbook has become a consumable student edition containing the instruction, practice, pictorial examples, and individual practice required. Performance tasks, chapter reviews, and STEAM exercises have been added at the end of each chapter. The 2020 edition begins with a think question, which is a warm-up to see what students know. Next, a new focus cycle is introduced, which is comprised of engage, learn, and try segments. This cycle uses a problem-solving approach as each part of the cycle teaches students a different detail of the new concept to develop a better understanding. There might be more than one focus cycle in a section. So let me explain the segments of the cycle. The engage segment is the anchor task and concrete component of the lesson. So it draws on prior knowledge to link students to the new learning, and you might use manipulatives in this section. The learn segment is parent-led, and students learn the new concept through more activities and pictorial examples. Finally, the try segment reinforces the learning through the practice exercises in the student edition. The old edition had a warm-up, learn section, and guided practice section. These are essentially the same thing as the focus cycle. The warm-up in the old edition is similar to the new engage section, and the guided practice is the new try section. The publisher has just cleaned up the wording to make it easier for the parent or teacher to follow. So another question you may have is, how does it compare to the updated Primary Math 2022? Although the scope and sequence is similar because they both reflect the newer Singapore Ministry of Education syllabus, there are some notable differences. Math in Focus is a kindergarten through eighth grade program, and Primary Math is a kindergarten through sixth grade program. 
Math in Focus 2020 has a spiral bound teacher guide that is written for the classroom, although easily adapted for home use. Primary Math 2022 has the option for a teacher guide or home instructor guide. Also, each chapter in Math and Focus is comprised of anywhere from three to eight lessons. And each lesson in Math and Focus might take two or three days to finish. With the multi-day lessons, this means sometimes the lessons might end without any independent practice in the student edition. Primary Math 2022 also has several lessons within a chapter. However, it takes one day to do each lesson. Primary Math has a digital component available that includes printable graphs, number cards, and other resources such as the Home Instructor or Teacher Guide, the Reteach, and Enrichment Books in a PDF format. Math in Focus 2020 similarly has an online component called Ed that includes access to instructional resources like the Enrichment and Reteach books and data reporting. However, it is set up for a classroom and is not available to homeschoolers. It is important to note that these online resources are not essential to the Math and Focus or Primary Math programs. Typically, lessons will take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes per day for homeschoolers for each program, but this can also vary by the student and the amount of independent practice utilized. What are some reasons you would choose Math and Focus as your Singapore math program? Math and Focus can take your student all the way from kindergarten to eighth grade. In fact, the new 2020 edition has an accelerated track for Course 2 typically used in the 7th grade. This track prepares students for taking Algebra in 8th grade instead of 9th grade. The accelerated Course 2 essentially contains all the material from Course 2 and Course 3, except the accelerated course does not touch on the Pythagorean theorem or scatter plots. Another nice feature of Math and Focus is the Teacher Edition. It is a wonderful resource with many perks, including lots of tips and suggestions for helping parents teach this program. Now that I've mentioned the teacher guide, let's move on to the components included in the Math in Focus program. Math in Focus is divided into semesters. So the main components are the student edition and teacher guide, one for each semester. The teacher guide and student edition are sold in bundles by semester or individually. The most economical way to purchase this program is the homeschool kit for an entire year. This includes the student editions and teacher guides for both semesters and the assessment book. The student edition is in full color with lots of pictorial examples. As I just mentioned, it is broken into semesters with an A and B book for the year. Each chapter has anywhere from three to eight sections. Chapters begin with a chapter opener that connects math to everyday life. On the same page is an essential question that is tied to the chapter's main learning objective and teaches kids to think critically. Next is a recall prior knowledge section that gives students the chance to review previous concepts learned. Instruction, written practice, and hands-on activities are provided with each section in the focus cycle. Independent practice comes after the focus cycle. There might be a game or another activity before independent practice to help master the concept just learned. And at the end of each chapter, there is a chapter review, performance task, and a STEAM project. Chapter review prepares students for the assessments if you are using them, although chapter review can also be used as a test or evaluation. Performance task also allows students to show their understanding of what they've learned. A STEAM project gives students the opportunity to engage in a task related to science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. For example, one project might involve researching and creating a monarch habitat. Other activities in the student edition include math journal and put on your thinking cap. Math journal pages allow students to review and write about math concepts. Put on your thinking cap helps students with non-routine problems. The full color teacher guide is also divided into semesters. It features lesson plans and pacing guides for each chapter, a reduced copy of the student pages with answers, instructions for using manipulatives and other helpful support for the teacher. The beginning of each chapter gives a math background and a learning continuum. 
This explains what students should have learned in previous grades, what they're learning in the present, and what they will learn next. The chapter planning guide is a very helpful component, giving you the total number of expected days to complete each chapter and a pacing guide for each day. This is handy because it takes the guessing out of how to pace your day. It also includes the manipulatives needed or teacher resource sheets found in the back of the teacher guide, as I mentioned earlier. Each lesson shows a reduced copy of the student pages. The teacher dialogue is scripted as it walks the parent through how to teach each concept in the student edition. Teacher resources like game cards and other activities are available in the back of the teacher guide. There are some optional resources available, such as the Assessment Guide Teacher Edition, the Extra Practice and Homework Book, and the FACT Fluency Books. The Assessment Guide Teacher Edition provides all the assessments for the year as well as the answers. The assessments include chapter tests to help parents know if their student has retained specific concepts. There are also cumulative reviews to keep track of the student's progress. Mid-year and end-of-year benchmark assessments help students prepare for state and national tests. The test formats include multiple choice, short answer questions, and constructed responses. The Extra Practice Homework Book is available for students that need additional practice. Each activity correlates with the independent practice in the student edition. Put on your thinking cap questions are also included for additional practice on higher order thinking problems. Fact fluency books are another optional resource. These books target conceptual understanding along with fluency of math operations. Each chapter correlates with the Math in Focus 2020 program. Students should be able to complete each fact fluency in about 10 minutes. Problems include practice with math facts, different ways to solve problems, using math facts to solve real world problems, writing activities about new learning, and some challenge questions. Each page is perforated for easy tear out and answers are included in the back. And lastly, there are manipulative kits we sell for each grade level. These are the main manipulatives used for each level and are available to purchase separately. So what does a typical day look like? Chapters have several sections. A section might take several days to get through. Therefore, each day might be structured a little differently. So let's just take a look at Grade 3, Chapter 4, Days 1 through 3. This chapter is reviewing and extending the teaching of multiplication facts 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, and 12. The pacing guide allows 19 days to complete the chapter. Day 1 goes over the chapter opener and a central question, which shows how math is used in everyday life and creates discussion with your student. Students also review in the Recall Prior Knowledge section in the student text. The chapter opener and review are always done on the first day of beginning a new chapter. Section 1 of the chapter starts the new learning and is paced to take two days to complete. This section works with multiplying by 6. The first day begins with the think question, asking your students to solve multiplication problems in different ways. For example, you might ask your students how they might use five facts to find seven times six or 10 facts to find eight times six. Give your students just a minute to brainstorm ideas and tell them we will be learning this in our section one. In the engage section, provide your students with a number line and ask them to count by fives on the number line to 30 and explain the number of jumps taken. Ask your students to explain how this number line could be used to find 6 times 6. The goal is to let your students explore so that you can explain the concept in the next part, the learn. During the learn section, your students can look at the example in the student book by first completing the activities with counters to see the pattern that multiplying by 6 is really doubling multiplying by 3. Your students will learn that they can multiply by 6 by doubling 3s, skip counting, or even using addition. After the learn, your students will then work out the strategy in the try section. This ends the day's lesson with a quick wrap up where you can ask your students how they can multiply by 6 and which strategy they prefer. 
Day two of section one begins with the engage section again. You can start by asking your students to draw a picture of five times six and think about how that picture could help them find seven times six. You can give your students a few minutes to try some ideas to make their own connections. Next, the learn section, you can help your students to connect their model from the engage section to see that two or more groups of six can be added to five times six to find seven times six using an array model. This is a quicker way to find the product than trying to skip count. You can challenge your students to use this understanding by asking your students how 10 times six can be used to find nine times six. Help your students to see that they can simply subtract a group. At this time, you can introduce any new vocabulary on the page, including the associative property, and show how it is used to explain the steps they took to find the product. The Try section then gives your students the opportunity to give these strategies a try for themselves. There is also a game in the student edition that can be played to solidify the learning, or you can use the game later in the day or week for additional practice. You can wrap up the end of this day and section one by asking your students to go back to the think question and explain the answers using the strategies they have learned in this section. The students can then complete the independent practice in the student book. And this is the end of section one. Section two also takes two days to complete and works with multiplying by seven using a lot of the same teaching methods in section one. I hope this helps give you an understanding of how this program works and what it entails. Before we close today, let's go over some of the main points I addressed with Math in Focus 2020. This strong program implements the Singapore Math methodology and uses the latest Singapore Ministry of Education syllabus. In this newer edition, there is no longer a student workbook but a colorful and engaging consumable student edition. The teacher guide is a valuable resource for the parent with easy to follow instructions and answers to the student edition. Optional resources are available, including an assessment book, an extra practice book, and math fact fluency book. Each chapter has sections that might take several days to complete, but every day is planned out for the parent and student. Chapter reviews and performance tasks can work as an assessment to make sure students are retaining and understanding concepts. New STEAM exercises take the learning even further. Students who prefer learning one thing at a time, who enjoy hands-on learning, and are not a fan of rote memorization and drills will enjoy this program. Math is about thinking. Math in Focus teaches students to look at problems in different ways and come up with other strategies to find the answers while focusing on problem solving and the why behind math. This concludes my tutorial on Math in Focus 2020. If you have more questions, please feel free to contact us by phone, 888-841-3456, email us at consultants at rainbowresource.com, or chat with us through our website during our working hours. We are happy to help.